everyone welcome back to another episode of the awesome sunday show pat here and connor's back as usual yeah connor you were just on a whitewater rafting trip this weekend how was it <laughs> tiring uh, yeah you look pretty shot yeah it was fun though it was a good time uh yeah did it with the kids at my church and uh it was me and john hmm. which john you've known for a while i mean you don't know him know him but he's one of my best friends and it's a good time. Uh, I pretty much was the leader of the raft, and right now it, I can definitely feel it. <laughs> yeah, well, at least you had a good time. Yeah, and it was fun. Maybe now you'll end up being jacked like from this instantly. I know. I wish. Like, I, I, you know, and this is actually my mm-hmm. ninth year in a row doing it. Jeez. And it doesn't show. <laughs> well, I'm sure just you know that once a year is not going to turn you into Captain America right away. Yeah, it's true. I you know, it's not like the movies. I would love that super soldier serum. Same. That'd be pretty fucking sweet. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so today we're finally talking about uh, this small thing. I don't know if a lot of people have heard about it. It's not that popular yet. No, it's been out for a few weeks now. Pretty like low-key indie shit. I may have it on my phone working right now. Yeah. Uh, and that is Pokemon Go. Yeah. Pokemon Go, it's uh, it's really good. It is really good. I don't play as much as most people. I only play when, like when I'm invited out. Mm. But it's really good social experience. It is. It's uh, it's a. I think it's the first social media to actually have human interaction. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it's definitely the first of its kind. That's for sure. Um, it's like the augmented reality alone is like groundbreaking almost yeah oh it's it's incredible there's nothing like it out right now um and it's the most downloaded game mobile game in history uh let's see it has more more. downloads than um has more users than twitter yeah more daily users than twitter more downloads than tinder and a bunch of apps combined it's daily revenue uh is estimated between one and two and a half million dollars a day that's crazy a day and that's what niantic the developer is getting uh nintendo's not getting a huge percentage of revenue from it but they're still getting some and you know even if they're not getting money from the game nintendo's doing very well yeah as a result of this they're uh they're kind of bounced they've bounced back from a while ago yeah you know it wasn't it wasn't it was about three years ago when everyone was saying what's nintendo gonna be like and they've really bounced back hardcore man and like in more ways than just in than games like i've obviously this is a video game but like through other vessels and through other avenues of like you know toys to life and with the amiibos and uh i mean 3ds is still pretty baller and now this and uh the new system coming out which we don't really know what it is but we already had podcasts on that yeah but yeah, this is game. It's a lot of fun. It is fun. It's uh, different. It incurred. It's the only video game. Well, I guess other than the Wii Fit, Wii Sport games that actually encourage physical exercise. Before we get to that, uh, talking about how much Nintendo is benefiting from it, its stock had a huge, huge increase. Yeah, very Within big. Days it went up like almost thirty some percent or something. Um, and got them almost ten billion dollars more revenue. That's insane. Uh, actually, it looks like I just found some. It says they're they're uh doubled in market value and about eighteen billion dollars earned. That's through crazy. stock increases as a result of Pokemon Go. That's so incredible. It's mind-blowingly insane. And you know what? I'm really, really, really fucking pissed I didn't buy stock. No, yeah. I before this. It's... Whoever it, did made out huge. Yeah, whoever stuck with Nintendo uh, through the dark through the dark ages of from 2012 till now, uh, you deserve everything that you're getting right now. Yeah, seriously. See, this is why I wish I could invent time travel. You know, other than, you know, stop Hitler or terrible disasters all that but so i can go back a couple weeks tell myself hey you want to get make a lot of money put all your money to nintendo stock yeah, take all the money in your savings out. that you were so afraid to touch and just put it in this take out a loan to buy stock because you'll get 
it back in no time tenfold oh and then go back and you know say hey maybe buy some apple stock like 15, i would actually 10, rather do that <laughs> i mean ago. well you do that first then you take all that money and reinvest it into nintendo stock now true do that <clears throat> oh yeah but nintendo's killing it and that's uh one of my regrets but getting back to the game itself it's very very different and i think it is a lot of fun can be addicting uh can be quite frustrating but overall i think i've had a really good experience with it i've enjoyed it a lot yeah i overall it's 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 a fantastic concept that's been realized there is a lot of wrinkles to iron out yeah a lot but understand it but like and i'm the type of guy who you know video game video games have been pissing me off lately when it comes to um like development and like what it entitles and what a 60 dollar game is worth this game was free Mm -hmm. and essentially i i when i downloaded i was like okay i'm getting a beta essentially yeah that I, I know like this is a beta well it's not it's not released everywhere yet japan doesn't even have it yet because their market is different they don't look at they yeah. they, they when games are released it's got to be a finished product right that's just how it is over there i think the most recent country it launched in was france either today or yesterday um but yeah they're slowly rolling it out in different areas of the world different countries and stuff um which yeah i think most people would be surprised initially hearing that it wasn't launched in japan first yeah but also too that's been kind of common practice now uh it used to be japan got everything like a year or two earlier than everybody now we are the first people getting stuff we got playstation 4 before japan yeah um we got we before japan did technically Mm -hmm. so it's it's becoming uh much uh much more apparent than it, than it was back in the 80s and 90s right uh japan actually did release in uh pokemon go did release in japan two days ago and on the tokyo stock exchange nintendo shares went up 96 percent that from the beginning of july that's nearly double nearly like insane insane I damn oh my gosh what am I doing in my life why didn't I seriously <laughs> god anyway let's talk about some of the things we like about the game why don't you go first all right so what I like about the game is really the social interaction because when I was six years old and I first got Pokemon Red um, I remember it was my birthday it was seven it was February 17th uh, it was 1997 when I first held in my hands Pokemon Red and I loved the ex- exploration aspect of it um, it was an RPG, but it didn't really feel like one at times because it was way it had a comp- competitive aspect to it. Um, but you got to explore this world. Um, I think it's Kanto. I, I think it might be based on Kyoto or Japan. Uh, or I'm, I'm sorry, Kyoto or Tokyo in Japan. I'm not too sure what it's based on um, exactly, or it might just be t- based on Japan in general, like that whole map. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> from what I've heard. But I loved exploring. I loved seeing everything. I loved discovering new Pokemon. I was like, this yeah, is amazing. Exactly. Like, And like for as a kid, I was like, I wish Pokemon was like real life. You know? Like oh, I, as, as soon as I started playing it from when yeah. I was little, I'm like, I want this. I, I would totally, I would drop everything going on an mm-hmm. adventure. At 10, like at six years old, like it's, it's just your dream. And like now at 25, you know, 19 years later, I... Of course, it's the closest you're going to get. Yeah. You know, obviously Pokemon aren't real. They never will be real. You know, as much as you wish, you want them to be real. They're not going to be real. There will be an evil sci- mad scientist in the next hundred years that will create a Pokemon. That would be pretty baller. Would but, be baller. Uh, yeah, this is as close as it gets. Um, and it, it's it's so much fun. I love it. And you know even at, even on the uh, whitewater rafting trip i went it was camping too and everyone was playing pokemon go like there was a poke stop there so yeah. and there was a gym like right by there so like we'd all just take over each gym just to get experience points hmm. and uh it just was like i just met a bunch of people there was people from india i met and they were just like oh yeah we've been playing you know uh it's it's like it's a lot of fun like he's like like we never like a couple people yeah we never really played pokemon until now Mm -hmm. like this is like a lot more fun and you know 
I read online a lot as like people were like, oh, like, you know, screw the people that have never really played Pokemon and now are getting into Pokemon Go. It's like, dude, like, I get it. You're an OG. I'm an OG. Mm-hmm. You know, you're an OG. But there's nothing wrong with someone discovering Pokemon for the first time at any age. No, exactly. It's like, if anything, can, we should be, we should be celebrating that. Yeah. You get more people to play it. It's yeah. like complaining about somebody becoming a, a fan of some show, you know, based on the eighth season, based on the eighth season, or, you know, yeah. like getting into a show after it's already over or liking a sports team, you know, most shows I watch are out after they're over. Anything. Yeah. It's, that's the stupidest thing, you know, forget that let them enjoy it don't, yeah. don't hate on people for this being their first pokemon game i mean aside from justin Cena, you could still hate on him for it but yeah he deserves it he does he deserves it 100 percent. yeah but yeah it there are a lot of people who've never played a pokemon game that are playing this now like millions and millions which is awesome because pokemon's awesome brings people together and like you go you know we walked around manasquan one night probably a hundred kids there playing it went yeah. to the boardwalk we went to Manasquan and Point Pleasant yeah we New went Jersey. to Janks and the amount of people playing was crazy and it was such a fun time like, yeah it was a really the, good time and the, we were like pointing out like somebody's like oh have you found this oh cause we found it down that end a little bit and then like this random like couple joined in our search on the, on the beach like they're like oh you guys are going to look for uh so and so yeah we'll go with you like we need that one too and they joined us and they're like oh my steps are showing close over here and like we bonded with that these random ass people we didn't know and up and down the boardwalk people are doing that they're like oh you know hey like here's a tip with this blah blah, blah. and you could just tell instantly who was playing and it was yeah like normally if you go to the boardwalk the people there are pretty shitty yeah in my like, opinion well you worked there for years i did work there for a long time way way too long but like you know everyone there was like nice about it and like just the fact that like there it is a very social aspect now it's a very socialized game which is good yeah um and like everyone's like super nice about it and like i'm not i'm not like i have no reservations of saying you know, I'm playing Pokemon at like 25 years old. Like I'm playing the new Pokemon game. Like, you know, not that I cared anyway, but, uh, now you have even less reason now to even, like hide it. Yeah. And like, not that I ever really did, but like I would always, I never hid that. I love Pokemon. Yeah. Me but, neither. You know, it's just like, but like being an adult and saying, Oh, I love Pokemon. Like you're almost like preparing yourself for someone to be like, huh? Like what a loser. Like, yeah. Like what are you nine? Like, yeah. Well, no, I'm actually like I, I enjoy things in life. You, yeah. know, you probably should too. Is that being a douche? Um, but like now it's like, haha! Like now you're, you're not playing Pokemon. Now you're not playing Pokemon Go, or you're not into Pokemon. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, it's great, and like you know, it's the amount of people just playing it together is crazy. And you know, like a, a big um, criticism of our generation is that we're becoming. Uh, less socially interactive because of the rise in social media well this is counteracting that yeah and i never and i never believed that for 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 a second because if anything social media is a greater avenue to meet new people Mm -hmm. and think of all the dating websites think of people you've met i've there's think of people uh, you know our group chat is technically a social media yep and you know, like, I know that sounds weird, but like we do it through GroupMe, and like there's you can put in memes, pictures, upload photos, meme photos. Uh, you know, there's the one of me w- where I'm in the bathroom, my back, and like you guys meme that for like ever. Oh yeah, that was really good. That one was great. So like yeah, it's like a social media, and like I, how many friends did we meet because of the group chat? Yeah, seriously, out of the thirty two, thirty three people on it, we've met probably like fifteen or sixteen through that through, just through that group through chat. that yeah and it's it, it's it's been great and like you know it just proves the old it just proves the conception wrong of that we are just locked in our mm-hmm. in our own virtual world and it's really not the case all it is is just a the better and wider avenue for us to meet new people like we don't you don't have to go out to a bar every night to yeah, meet exactly. somebody like you just hey like we i met this person playing Pokemon or I met this person at the gym and then yeah. we started talking. Exactly. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's wonderful. It's really yeah. a wonderful thing. You know, yeah. there was uh there like, like there was uh 
there uh in the news like there was a couple churches saying like hey like stop here for stuff like that or mm-hmm. like 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 uh at best buy um did we actually have like a pokemon go little like like shelf display of like mm-hmm. water bottles and external battery chargers for it, like that's another good another good point it's very good for some businesses now who are adopting it like you know what i would go back in time sorry to interrupt you but i'll go back in time for apple nintendo and mofi yeah oh seriously yeah um if you don't know what mofi is it's like an external battery charger case for your phone Mm -hmm. iphone uh they do have it for i think several uh android devices but yeah that's a that's a good idea um yeah especially because pokemon go even with the battery saver is a definitely a battery i actually haven't really noticed the difference Mm -hmm. well the battery saver is definitely improved but when you don't have that on yeah it's it's quick it's a quick drainer um i i really i guess maybe it's just maybe i have to go back to the non-battery saver to mm-hmm. see the difference but in the beginning i didn't see a difference at all yeah well i mean especially if you're playing it more or have it open longer like you'll begin to notice it uh but for businesses now you know i mean a lot of churches are poker stops which is weird in a way but now a lot of businesses i think it's i think it's kind of smart because if i were to like a game developer i'd be like uh what's one place that most people wouldn't be like uh, like would be mad about mm-hmm. other people going there yeah you know yeah and uh you like know, houses you couldn't do right although there are some places like that but some businesses that are pokestops in order to get like they've been starting to attract people by you know hey we're dropping lures all day come hang out you know get something to eat while you're yeah. here or um you know buy some you know get something to drink or something like i think bubba Coos, uh did something like that or they're like first 10 people to show us their pokemon go uh pokemon will get like a free whatever and you know and i've been seeing more and more places doing that on facebook twitter even places on reddit showing it off and like some some sports stadiums now are even having pokemon go events like the blue claws just had one the other night yeah they built a whole night around it they had um a pokemon stadium n64 stand you could do it they had uh like um after the game they had like a, a pokemon fossil dig and then uh like you were allowed to go onto the field and go catch pokemon and then like there's like two gyms there uh and a pokestop and they were dropping lures so it's smart for a business you you know you pay you know um like the it's a freemium game so you can pay either a dollar or I higher paid some money into it i won't lie i have to yeah i mean whatever yeah it's fine because it's worth it yeah and it's like i i, I found i bought 100 pokeballs and it's and it's, it's amazing it. yeah it's useful and then you know you're i may have bought some very no you can't buy berries uh no you can't i may have what else did i buy lucky egg incubator uh, I think I bought a lucky egg. Incense, lures. That's it. I bought incense. Yeah. I haven't bought any mo- uh, lure modules yet. Mm-hmm. But see, like, if you buy a lure module, say you spend 20 bucks, you get, um, a, and then you use those coins towards lure modules. It's caught, And then the return you can see, if you just keep dropping them while people are there, you'll you'll be, it'll be worth you as a business owner spending that because you'll make it back if like people want to hang hang out there or come join there and be like you know if they're hanging there for the the full 30 minutes of the lore you know after like 10 15 minutes they might get hungry or thirsty anyway yeah and you sell one thing and you're making your money back easily yeah it's 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 incredibly smart incredibly incredibly smart and like as on both ends i mean obviously for like the game developers i mean for like what they what they accomplish with this game but like for a restaurant or a business like if i own a restaurant i would like if there's any way possible i could find out like to make my restaurant a poker stop like i would make that happen yeah i would um i think there might the developers might have a request thing or something like that i don't know i don't know exactly how it is cuz like the algorithm i don't understand how the algorithm for what generates the poke stops work actually um but it, that'd be interesting to see and you know if you can request it that'd be a good idea but like like a place like bubble coos or like chipotle or you know a small like quick sit down something to eat you know not like a fancy restaurant mm-hmm. but like something like that that's fast casual or fast food or whatever smart because normally you get a lot of foot traffic anyway and you get more and more and you know like a starbucks 
you know, Starbucks wants people to come and stay and then, you know, maybe buy two coffees or a coffee and some food or whatever. Yeah, they're not like that. a grab and go place. They're the only fast food right. restaurant I know where they don't really want you to get up. Yeah, they're one of them. And, you and know, yes, they are a restaurant. They serve food. Yes, technically they are a restaurant. Uh, you know, and they want to keep people there and then the longer they stay there, the more likely they are to purchase another thing. Yep. So it's very beneficial for businesses who are Pokestops. Yeah. And who can potentially be Pokestops. It's, I, it's just, it's mind blowing how much, how, how well they pulled it off. And again, like there, there are problems. There, there are but problems. Yes, overall, it's, it's been, but the problems great. are expected for something like this to launch. And like, not saying Pokemon Go was the first game to ever do this, but like, they're the first to get it down right. Yeah, they honestly their launch went better than. Um, well, it's Nintendo. Their software is incredible. Like they've always been on point with software. Yeah, and the game crashes aren't even that bad. Like in, they do get frustrating. They get very frustrating. But like I, I my my game has crashed plenty of times, but I've never lost a Pokemon because of it ever. See, I have okay a few times actually. The other day, um, Beck and I were driving to my aunt's house, and she was driving. And a level 700 CP Vileplume popped up. As I'm throwing my Pokeball, it freezes with my Pokeball in its arc going to the Vileplume. Ooh. And I was like, shit, shit. So I close it out, go back in. Vileplume doesn't pop back up. And I lost a Pokeball. And I was like, fuck that. Today I ended up getting a, a better Vileplume. Anyway, so. Where did you find these Vileplumes? The first Vileplume was on uh, 18. And then the second one was actually in Asbury. Um, Beck and I were walking to that place, Toast, near Beer Garden. Yes. Walking there. Level 733 CP. Uh, and I caught up. Well, I got to give Becca credit. She caught me a Blastoise in LBI the other night. So it's cool. <laughs> Plus, another, another good thing is, like, the exploration aspect to it. Yeah. Like, you don't... If you just sit in your house and expect all these great Pokemon to come to you it's not, not gonna, gonna happen. happen well it's also because it's, it's also based on how many people are in that location too right um like because there's a there's a sitting refresh rate like for a pokemon to pop out and it's a long time especially for a good one like yeah you'll sit there you know for an hour all you get would be i mean you get these everywhere anyway but pidgeys ratatats uh weedle and caterpie and spiro but like the the moving refresh rate uh, is much quicker has a shorter time span. Say like your standing refresh rate is say like one Pokemon every 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's not the exact numbers, but just trying to, you know, give you an idea of what it was, but your walking refresh rate could be one Pokemon every four minutes, something like that. So it encourages you to walk, drive, explore. And then, you know, different areas you get different Pokemon, especially you might get some rarer ones are ones that definitely won't be in your area like when uh becca was playing while i was driving the other night and a blastoise came up on my nearby i stopped what i was doing we were leaving i'll be i stopped a freaking blastoise a freaking blastoise cp 579 it ended up being she caught it for me so thank you beck uh that's a good girlfriend right there yeah real mvp that and she caught me like ended up catching me 25 anyway but as soon as i came up i'm like shit so i stopped pull into a neighborhood i'm like we'll go home after i find and catch a blastoise <laughs> turn on an incense drove around this one neighborhood probably for like 20 minutes before one popped up and i wouldn't have stayed on lbi you know that much longer before that popped up i was heading my way home but even then like people are you know going to like we went to manasquan and point pleasant not that they're far from us but it got us to go to a different location for different Pokemon and people are doing that all throughout, you know, their towns, states. Apparently some guy has gone to like 48 states since the game came out As for Pokemon. Po yeah. But yeah, but there's no, there's not certain Pokemon exclusive states. Is there or areas? Uh, there are some to geo different geographic locations. Yeah. Um, so there's actually some that are country and continent specific ones too. Like, uh, for instance, the biggest one, which sucks because I really want this one, is Kangaskhan is exclusive in the wild to Australia. You can hatch it, but it's extremely rare to hatch, but you won't find one 
in the wild in the U.S. Apparently, right? Okay, yeah. Cause some of them are pretty. Are, is uh, was Mewtwo certain? Is getting into the legendaries. Um, so far, uh, there's code in the game's code. Articuno, Moltres, Zapdos, Mew, and Mewtwo are and uh, Ditto are all listed. Even though Ditto's not a legendary, but they're all included in the game's code but they cannot be found right now anyway okay. and if they can be literally no one has found it okay uh so if you see anyone posting a picture of them finding one of those it's fake um what i'm thinking is they're probably going to be event-based things either that or for the legendary birds you have to like for articuno you got to climb mount everest or you know go to a little volcano for Moltres. Well, that's I don't think Nintendo's gonna put people's lives in danger. No, exactly, exactly. Um, but yeah, they're probably gonna be like a event bait releases or um, you know, time based thing. You know, maybe in a couple of months or something. Right. Um, but as it stands, they're damn it, and Ditto are currently not in the game. Like, uh, are currently not findable, discoverable. Okay. Um, which many people or myself are included are disappointed about because in the commercial for Pokemon Go, Mewtwo is at uh, Times Square and people are fighting and trying to catch him and then some of the birds and Mew too. Mew also. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's a little disappointing, but... But you're not a Pokemon Master yet. Exactly. So you can't be a Pokemon Master without them. But you know that's fine if they want to make it into like a special event as long as it's accessible to everyone like it's fine yeah you know, like a you know, a special day or whatever not that like i don't want to have to go to a i mean i would if i had to to get it but like to go to gamestop to get one of them you know like how they have with like 3ds uh versions like that but you know is what it is. Yeah, I, and like that's, that's stuff that's gonna come in the future. Like things that are missing right now is like what stops me from like playing every single day of every aspect and every minute is like one on one battles, mm-hmm. um, like move sets and trades. Now I don't expect move sets to come in just because of the control scheme. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, which is fine. I'm okay with that. I get it. And like I'm, I'm not gonna knock the game for that. I just wish it did have it. Um, but like trading and stuff and like one-on-one battles like not just through gyms but like i understand gyms are for people to gather and take over yeah yeah they're you know they're location specific but i expect more features of this game coming out in the future yeah um rumor is that right now it's just the original 151 that are planned uh rumor is by january they're start including the second generation and then so on and so forth. That'd be awesome because Gen 2 and Gen 1, like I love Gen 2 just as much as I love Gen 1. Same. Those are my two favorite generations. Yep. Hands down. Although, like Gen 4, I'm not really a huge fan of, except for Rayquaza. That, that Legendary is amazing. That's Gen 3. That it, oh. Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. Yeah, you're right. Gen 4 is uh, Diamond and Pearl. Yeah. Gen 3 does have some really good Pokemon, but I would. I'm just not a fan of the region of Gen 3. Uh, yeah, I mean, Gen 3 itself, I, f- I think, fell a little short of expectations, but some really sweet Pokemon came out of it. And, you know, it's some good mechanics. But, uh, yeah, right now it's just the original 151, or technically, you know, you can't get five of them, so 146. Yeah. Right now. Um, but, yeah, I like, there's a lot of good things to this game. And, you know, it's bringing, it actually is legitimately bringing people together. And, you know, imagine being a parent right now and teaching your son or daughter about Pokemon. You guys are going out, bonding, catching Pokemon together. Yeah. Like, it's that's like so cool. Families can do it together. Um, it's just, it's it's wonderful. It's a wonderful, wonderful experience. Um, you know, and like, it's exciting. It's it, it makes you feel like you're doing something. Exactly. You know, and... Uh, and there's still people saying like, "Oh, that's like stupid," you know, like, like, whatever. It's not, and ignore them. If anybody tells you, if you're having fun, especially with other people, and anybody tells you that it's like what you're doing is stupid, don't listen to them. Just tell them to fuck off. Yeah, exactly. Tell, they're going out of their way to tell you that what you're doing is stupid. They're not doing anything. Yeah, they need to occupy their time somehow. That's how 
you know they're not doing anything else. I got nothing better to do than do, say that. Those are the type of people that join Team Valor. Fuck you, Valor's where it's at. No, Team Instinct. All right, pussy. I'm Instinct 100 percent of the way, but it's okay. It's it's all right that you're Valor. It's I understand Team Valor is technically the number one team right now. They're the, the world. most popular team. Yep, the most popular team, and technically speaking, they are the best. But hey. New England Patriots are technically the most popular and best team in the NFL, but no one really fucking likes them. So, good luck with that. Um, but uh, <laughs> listen, at least we can agree that Team Mystic blows. I don't know. I know. I know a lot of good people on Mystic. Yeah, so do I, and I know some decent people on Team Instinct. I the only reason why I, cho- I didn't I didn't choose Mystic is because the name Mystic just sounds kind of it is pretty lame. It's like lame. Like yeah. instinct it's like yeah, like like I I feel like I rely on my instincts in battle. Like I just felt it. See, I wanted to choose instinct because Zapdos is my favorite of the three legendary birds. Yeah, mine too. But you know, Valor just sounds more badass, you know, cuz you're braver, you know, you're stand strong, you know. Yeah. Uh, whatever it's all right it's fine i mean honestly like it's it's like again bringing people together but it also brings a competitive aspect Mm -hmm. to from it too exactly but one thing i really just would love love to talk about is the amount of memes that have came from this game oh my god it might be the memes i might like a little more than the game itself (laughs) there are some excellent and the forest gut ones are the best ones oh I cry laughing. I cry laughing it's so yeah. much. The, the, the two of the best memes I got from it was a Forrest Gump one. Where this, the scene in Forrest Gump, uh, which is a great movie. Pat's wrong whenever he says it's not good. Um, it's not. Is the scene where he goes, "I was running," and he starts running from America back and forth. They do that instead of him putting on his regular hat. It's Ash Ketchum's hat, <laughs> and it's the Pokemon theme song from your first season. Um, that me like i cried when i first saw it It was so funny and then there's one it's really like kind of messed up but it was the uh whoever was playing didn't turn their their ar off and ar Mm -hmm. stands for augmented reality and if you turn it off um it's just the pokemon is just in a is in a fixed setting and you don't have to like move your camera in a certain area it also saves your battery too saves your battery and it's actually easier to catch them it is easier to catch them. When I'm showing somebody how the game works, I like turning it on because it's cooler. Yeah. But like when I'm playing by myself, I turn it off. Same. Um, someone turned had their AR on and the Psyduck was on a roof. And instead of like, it had a guy with a gun, <laughs> like a legit gun pointing at the Psyduck as it goes, yo, get the fuck off my roof. <laughs> it, I, it was amazing. Yeah. Um, and you know what? Uh, a lot of people are trying to well mostly like major news media like trying to t- find some negatives in the game to trash it to get viewers yeah just to get viewers like there's a lot of the stories they're saying are bullshit yes a girl did really find a dead body while looking for a pokemon but that's awesome it's crazy and now people you know now the family of that person can you know unfor- i mean it's an unfortunate yeah you know, but there's but, also sometimes a comfort of knowing yeah, what happened yeah these fat yeah. Um, and yes, there were some scumbags who were dropping lore modules at Pokestops and robbed people, but that only happened in one city and they were caught. I'm sure it was like Chicago or something or like <laughs> probably. But you know, there other ridiculous stories like that are Yeah. Not true. Like 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 you know, I love my dad, but like he's not at the Pokemon, he doesn't know anything about it. And he's just like I heard people were getting robbed playing that game, like freaking out. I'm like, Yeah, well people get robbed riding their bike. You know, yeah. it, uh, what do you what do you expect? Like, yeah, you know, it, it something that happens. But if someone's yeah. gonna rob someone for playing Pokemon Go, they're gonna rob someone else for some other reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you can walk anywhere, get robbed at any point in time. I almost got robbed a year and a half ago for not playing Pokemon Go. Like, yeah. So whatever. Like, it's just uh, the ne- like. Don't listen to the negative aspects. Yes, like some bad things happen, but that's because yes, when there's over thirty million players active, something's gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Yeah, regardless, whatever. Just Fuck worry that. about yourself. Exactly. Um, now let's talk. <clears throat> we did talk about the game crashes. Uh, you know that still happens. Um, you know because their servers get overloaded. Uh, you know, hopefully now with the amount of money they're making per day, they can get some 
they can get more servers and better quality ones. Even the uh, chief technical technological officer of Amazon offered Niantic to help them with their servers mm -hmm. and use Amazon's cloud servers, which are some of the best servers in the world. Yeah, absolute best. Uh, a lot of video game, like online matches use them. Like I know Overwatch exclusively uses their servers. They put them through Amazon cloud services. That's awesome. Which is awesome. Uh, another major complaint, one that I actually completely 100% agree with is they need to fix the nearby step system. You know, when you, it's a, you'll see a Pokemon in your oh, nearby and it says yes. three steps. Originally, it would decrease as you get closer to a thing, but the problem is lately, there's been a bug that the three steps have been staying no matter what. Yeah, I've not, noticed that too. Not just that, but like, they need to improve that. They need to fix that, first of all. You know, make, you know, the increase or decrease in distance, uh, you know, and closeness in relative area. But I really, really want them to change the direction of step, the steps, like the way their feet are pointing, so I know which direction to walk in. Yeah. You know, because I could have, um, you know, say... A, There's a, 360 degrees of choices to walk in. Exactly. I could have a Gengar that says, you know, one step. And I think the steps are 50 meters or something like that. Yeah, it's like something like kind of... Each step is like 50 meters or some something like that, whatever the distance is. But, yeah, it's within one, you know, distance of me, but I don't know which direction to go into. So I'm going to spend a shit ton of time going in the wrong direction maybe and miss out on an opportunity like that yeah then you have to go back to where you were if you remember where you were and that pokemon could be gone by the time you get back there yep uh that's something i definitely think needs to be fixed um you know after they stabilize their servers yeah fix the server well stabilize the servers first even as good as they've been holding up for as many people have downloaded it at one time. I don't think we'd be experiencing these crashes if they had so many downloads. Yeah, and you know what? The Actually, the crashes have been becoming more and more infrequent, yep. which is good, and have not lasted as long, like downtime. Yeah. Uh, which is good. So they are making strides, but you know, they, there's still room to improve, but every game, you know, hopefully if the developers give a shit enough, continue to improve and make improvements. Um, I'm sure they will. I'm sure Nintendo's on their back. Like, hey, like this is amazing. Thanks for developing this game. Fix this, 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 yeah. and that. Yeah, and you know, this isn't uh, Niantic's first um, like geolocation mobile game. I think uh, their other one is Ingress or something that's been around for a little bit. So they're applying, I guess, what they learned from that with this. But you know, they're going to be making improvements and adding new features. Hopefully, you can do localized battles outside of the gym. Like, if I yeah. want to battle you. Trading would definitely be very cool. I want trading so uh, bad. I really want to trade with Vandermoss because he has a bunch of great shit. Oh, yeah. he's Him and Lockwood both have like really yeah, good stuff. Yeah, champs. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, but overall, I'm really enjoying the game. Great experience. Uh, you know, just being able to actually go out and catch Pokemon, even though, you know, I'm not catching it with Pokeballs in my hand. It's still cool. It's still cool to say, yeah, I walked around and walked into a um you know into a drowsy and caught it that's yeah. still pretty sweet or i caught a blastoise you know i didn't technically catch it becca did but still you know it's cool uh overall it's great i'm looking forward to all the new features they add and everything yeah it's gonna be it's it's only gonna get better and better for us yeah definitely um yeah so if you're playing pokemon go which i'm just gonna assume it's it's safe to assume that most of you are yeah uh, i imagine most of our listeners already have it. yeah you know hope you're enjoying it let us know if you're enjoying it what other features or additions uh would you like for the developers to throw in let us know in the comments um and i want to give a quick shout out our facebook page is now sitting at 3303 likes yeah thank you for, to everybody who shared liked, comment that's joined that's within two weeks that is insane it's yeah, mind no, seriously it's 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 like and like i don't i don't want to sound like we're we're gloating or anything like that but it's just we're it's more thankful oh we're so thankful it's crazy like i expected between the two of us between you know however many friends we have on facebook to get maybe 200 likes tops oh, i told i remember and i was talking to i was talking to my dad and i was like uh 
and he was like oh so like you made a facebook page i was like yeah and he's like how much do you expect i was like no more than 400 at least you know for a while yeah. You know, because I figured, all right, if we both share it to everybody on our friends list and then our friends start sharing it, it's like, all right, 400. Yeah. Like, I think 400 is a fair number. Yeah. We're almost 3,000 over that. Yeah, it's crazy. It's insane. It's crazy. And, like, no time at all. Like, just the, not just the sheer number of likes, but how quickly it happened is, like, just crazy. You know, we started, it's been 12 days since we created the Facebook page. And, uh, you know, it's it's nuts. And yeah, we're really thankful. Thank you for liking it. Um, and if you invited people to like it, mm-hmm. thank you even more. You yeah, know, keep sharing the page and inviting people to like it. You know, and it just do it. It makes us happy. We're very thankful. You know, we're gaining listeners and stuff from it. And, you know, the more likes we get, the more listeners we gain. The more stuff we're able to do, and the yeah. better. You know, it makes us want to improve. Yeah, and like with improvement comes income, and with income comes better equipment. With better equipment comes a studio. Studio comes in right, before we get to that, but it gives us more. You know, we're yeah. already motivated to keep doing this twice a week. Exactly, it gives us more motivation to do it, and uh, you know, get better as we do it. Get more yeah. content out there, and yes, obviously, income and all that would be wonderful because then yeah, we could do things that's, even better. That's down but the yeah, road. That's not what we're expecting off the bat. But yeah, we don't. Yeah, that yeah. That, that takes a while. To yeah, do. but that's what we want. That's what we work towards. Yes, twice a week. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, remember to like us on Facebook if you haven't already. Facebook.com slash Awesome Sunday Show. Follow yeah, us on also, Twitter at Awesome yeah. Sun Show. There you go. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube and iTunes and Podbean. You could download from all them. Like comment subscribe all that rate us on itunes and podbean yes please rate us on itunes and podbean uh write a little something about us um if you have any if you have any you know suggestions like we're more than open to reading them yeah uh you know whether uh stuff we should improve or topics you want us to talk about or if you have any questions about topics we have talked about or expect to talk about yeah let us know or if you if we think if you think we're wrong on something yeah let us know yeah either let us know in the comments or on or facebook or on know twitter we're wrong on something it happens yeah. and you know what i'm gonna steal the idea that uh the guys from the live from the middle urinal have yeah you can email us questions comments all that crap at awesome sunday show idea. at gmail.com That's, i'm gonna steal that idea from you guys hope you don't mind but by the way, that crossover worked out really well. Yeah, that crossover was awesome. Great experience. Very, plan on doing it more. If you yeah. haven't listened to it yet, get on that. It was really, really good. A lot of fun. Yep, it was great. Yeah, so that about closes it out. Uh, also, you can follow us on our individual Twitters, yeah. too. Uh, I'm at Less Than Connor. I'm at Rick Patmeck. Uh, Comic-Con was this weekend, so we're going to be doing probably anywhere between two and four episodes. Um minimum of all the stuff to yeah. cover because there was a lot to cover we're still going to do twice a week but it's going to be like two episodes probably within yeah the comic con episodes we might just upload within one week depending on when we're able to record them and get them done but yeah, yeah i mean regardless we're still going to be doing two episodes no matter what this week but yeah that's yeah. it's called commitment exactly we'll see that's why you should like us that's why you should invite people to like us rate us and all that stuff because we're yeah. committed it's true we're in this for the long haul baby yeah I'm that's that's it that's like I don't know what else I can add on to that alright guys thanks for listening peace peace